y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new hi my name is Alyssa and for today's video I am bringing you my first Halloween look of 2018 I decided to turn myself into a bloody jack-o-lantern because I don't know about y'all but nothing screams Halloween more to me than a freaking pumpkin I really hope that you are excited for my Halloween videos this year I have got some surprises up my sleeve and yeah so if you like what you see go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave and if you too want to find out how to turn yourself into a bloody jack-o-lantern well then let's just go ahead and get started okay you guys so starting off I am going to prime my skin put on my foundation concealer and eyebrows just like I normally would and then now we're going to contour and shape the face so I'm going to be using the same taupe colored eyeshadow for all of this I'm going to start in my upper crease area and just kind of shape my eye how I want it. So I'm kind of winging it out past the eyebrow and then really heavily blending it underneath the inner portion of my brow. I am tying that into my nose contour, which I did much, much wider than normal today. Next, I'm going to take it and shade in my eye socket area just to give me that really sunken in kind of dead look. I am going to also tie this into my upper crease as you see here. I am going to cut the jawline as well because who says a jack-o-lantern can't also be snatched. And then last but not least, I am going to contour the cheeks. So I'm doing this like I would a skull, very, very heavy and dark back towards the ear and much lighter and more faded towards the mouth. I also decided to give myself frown lines because I figured I'd probably be a grumpy kind of mean looking jack-o-lantern. So I'm just brushing this from the inner portion of my eyebrows up into my forehead. Going back to the eyes, I'm taking a matte black eyeshadow and I'm beginning to work this on my outer corner. I will start to kind of wing this out as I disperse some of the product as you can see here. Take your time with this guys. You don't have to worry about it being really neat because I am making my look rather messy. Um, so don't stress, just blend and it'll all work out. As you see here, I'm bringing that black all the way into the inner corner as well just to give me that really dark, heavy eye look as if my eyes have been carved out. You guys know what I'm saying. Going in with a matte orange eyeshadow on the lid because obviously we are a pumpkin, duh. I'm just stamping this all over with my finger. Just, again, no rhyme or reason. Plop it on there. I am filling in my waterline and I tight lined as well with a black eyeliner. Um, I'm making the cutest faces, Lord have mercy, you have literally ever seen. And then I'm really smudging it below my lashes as well. I am taking the same black eyeshadow and I'm really smoking it out, you guys. You don't want to see any of your skin peeking through here. We want this lower lash line to be really, really dark and really, really smoked out from inner to outer corner. So just really make sure you focus on building that black color up down there. I am going back in with that orange eyeshadow and just blending out the edges so one, it's not super, super harsh, and two, to tie in the lower lash line with what we've got going on, the lid. Next, I'm gonna draw on an obnoxiously large wing. You don't have to do a wing if you don't want to, or you can do a baby wing, it's all up to you, but I decided to do a pretty big one today. Now it's time to start painting the face. So I'm gonna be taking my flash palette and mixing the red and yellow together because they make orange, hello, science. And I'm starting to do like feather-like strokes above my eyebrows. So it's tying into like my frown lines, if you will. Don't actually ask me why I chose to do this. I really have no reason for it, but I like the way it turned out. So it all worked out in the end. And then even though I filled it all the way in with black, I decided I wanted the inner corner to have orange, so I put that there too. I drew on a skull type nose and filled it in with that orange concoction. And then here I am taking a nude eyeliner and I am like drawing out the shape of my mouth because if not, I know I will get too crazy with it. And then once I had that down, I'm just filling it in with the orange paint.
Now I am doing little squiggles all the way around the mouth. And this is where you're gonna see where the look is really just very, very messy. There is no rhyme or reason to these. Some are very long, some are very short, some are thicker than others. I really just kinda let the brush do whatever it wanted to. And trust me, you guys, you cannot make this look bad. Just do as much or as little as you want to, but this is gonna give it that like creepy, kind of like cracked and smiled like look I suppose is what I was going for. Now I'm taking my eyeliner and I am just filling in the carved portion of my mouth. So I am following like the bottom part of my lower lip and then for my upper lip I'm just kind of cutting off the tops of my cupid's bow. Um, you just want to make sure that there is orange all the way around the black or else it really will look flat and no have no dimension so just you can do it as big or as little as you want to just make sure there's orange surrounding all the black and then obviously fill that in when you get it how you want it so now we're going to add even more squiggles with the black this is creating dimensions and obviously building and blending the mouth together Again, no rhyme or reason, just have fun with it. It cannot look bad. And this is where I kind of just start jumping around and doing whatever I felt like. So I decided that I needed some orange up in my eye socket area. So that's what I decided to do. And then I was like, holy crap, I didn't set my mouth. So I went back with the black eyeshadow and started setting my mouth. You definitely want to try and set as much of this look as possible because the cream paints and the eyeliner they can transfer and move if you're not careful so just make sure you do that and you can see here I'm just kind of blending out the edges obviously to create some dimension so it doesn't look so flat I'm taking my orange concoction and just stamping that all the way around the perimeter of my face pushing it into my hairline obviously to create the illusion that I am indeed a pumpkin head and then I also decided to draw a line and like trace my jaw. Again, don't really know why, but I did it and I liked it, so that's all that matters. I am setting that with a mixture of the same matte orange eyeshadow and a little bit of a matte red mixed in there as well, just to kind of give it a little bit more depth um, and like go with like the blood look we'll have later. I decided to add glitter because hello, you guys know this is me here. This is the Urban Decay Glitter Liner in Starfire, and I really liked what it did for the eye look. I was going to use the same orange concoction I'd used all over my face, but then I saw this liquid lipstick sitting here and decided that would probably be smarter. So I took a spoolie and ran it through my eyebrows, as well as on my lower lashes. I get that you really can't tell that I did this, but I know that it's there, and I liked it, so I did that. I am now taking a red liquid lipstick and I'm just kind of splattering this with the spoolie all over the face. Again, no rhyme or reason to it. This is just going to create some dimension when I put down like the blood paste later. So that's why I decided to do this and not just the blood paste. And then randomly I decided that I wanted to give myself a little tiny black nose inside my orange nose. So that's what I did. And here I'm going in with my blood paste and a stippling sponge and I'm just going to plop this wherever the motion takes me. So you can do as much or as little as you like. And then I decided I would bring it down my body because why the heck not? So I am contouring my clavicles, I'm pretty sure that's the right word, with the same taupe eyeshadow as before. And then I'm also creating three lines down my neck. And this is going to start shading for like, you know, the lines down the body of a pumpkin. That's what those are doing. As you can see, I'm taking a mixture of the red and orange liquid lipsticks and just drawing kind of like little random stripes um, all the way down my neck and on my clavicles and my shoulders. This is really starting to tie it together and make it look more like a pumpkin. Um, and then to tie it in even more, I decided to take the eyeliner and do some little black flecks as well. 
And then obviously we're gonna add more blood because hello, it's Halloween. So again, as much or as little as you feel. And yeah, you guys, there you have it. This is my jack-o'-lantern all complete. This was so easy to do, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to keep an eye out for my other Halloween videos coming very, very soon. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, you guys, I hope you have a happy Halloween.